Hey y'all, it's Biscuit. So today's video is going to be a how-to video. So if you haven't seen my previous video on these beautiful glitters, which I did get from Just Nikki, you can go on over and check out her website. She did open up her um, store and she is selling glitter, jewelry, all that good stuff. Okay. So make sure you go over and support. I will have the links down in the description box below. So today's video is going to be about how to sugar on a nail and the glitters that I'm going to be using are from just Nikki. So also, if you haven't seen that video, um, I'm kind of inserting a few clips here. Um, I did decide to go ahead and get a lot of fine glitters for this purpose and this reason only. is So that way I can practice more on doing uh, Frenchies and also applying fine glitter, which is how we get the term sugaring a nail. So I did buy these containers from Amazon. And the reason I did is because I saw it on Instagram. I believe I saw it on Too Cute Nail Supply. I think that's where I saw it, where they were doing a Frenchie and then um, squeezing the tube to apply the glitter. And I was like, this is so clutch. Why didn't I think of this? So shout out to Too Cute Nails, uh, Too Cute Nail Supply. I believe that is where I saw that. If not, um, I'm not sure where else I could have seen it. Probably on a few posts. But I decided to go ahead and do the same thing. And plus, for me, if I don't see this glitter, it's like out of sight, out of mind. Are you all like that too? Because, you know, I have tons of glitter. I have tons of everything. And I feel like if I don't see it, I won't use it, right? So if it's in a drawer, I probably won't tend to reach for it because it's out of sight, out of mind. So I, I did put a clip in this video of me putting them in this like little carry container and now that carry container is going to sit out and it's going to be visible for me to be able to use when I'm doing clients or if I want to do some nail content or do some nails, I'll be like, oh, let me go ahead and use some glitter, right? Because we all collect an abundance of things. I know I'm guilty. So I just want to be able to use it. OK, so I decided to go ahead and do a sample nail. Now, I, this was a pop off nail. And as you can see, I did get a bubble. Uh, air bubble in there now of course if you are doing this on a client please make sure that you apply pressure and do not leave any bubbles in your clients nails but for me I was just like oh uh, it's a bubble because this was coming right off anyway <laughs> so I did go ahead and apply my base coats from D&D &D, and now I'm using eggshell which is from D&D &D as well and I decided to of course do nude for a um, base color and so I'm going to apply two coats of that. I'm going to cure it in the lamp for the 60 seconds. And then we're going to come back and I was trying to decide, right? I was trying to decide between red, a red Frenchie or a pink Frenchie. So I was on TikTok doing this at the same time. So if you aren't following me over on TikTok or you don't have your post notifications on over there for my uh, TikTok page, stop this video go to your tiktok turn on your notifications so that way you'll be notified when i go live over there it's a good time over there it's um <laughs> you get a lot of random people coming through showing love supporting giving you tips um this one girl <laughs> she was like because actually i was on there doing like putting my glitters inside of those containers so i wouldn't you know take up so much time on youtube i did it on tiktok and she was like, oh, my God, you're getting that glitter everywhere. You're giving me anxiety. I said, baby, I'm giving myself anxiety with all this glitter over here. So it's a good time. You meet different people. I mean, some people are smart. Some people are nice. Some people are mean. But you know me, my block game is real strong. OK, uh, if you don't know, you probably don't want to know. But <laughs> needless to say, um, all positivity comes my way. And I hope that um, it will stay that way. OK. So I did go ahead and put the, the nail in the lamp for the 60 seconds. And now I did go ahead and apply my top coat. I put that in the, in the lamp for 60 seconds just because I wanted it to be finished. And I didn't want to have a sticky surface um, from the 
the gel polish itself so the way i like to do my frenchies right i'm taking my royalty nail supplies beach babe i am a brand ambassador for them and i do have a coupon code down in the description box for you all to use and go shop and get you some goodies um the way i like to do my frenchies is i like to make one line in the center of the nail to where i want the frenchie to stop and then i like to go down the sides to create my crisp lines and then i like to connect the lines on the end to the middle line and then of course i like to perfect that as i go as well so i'm gonna let you all watch this this is the best way that it works for me and it literally takes maybe a few minutes maybe three minutes but if you are ocd like me it might take you five minutes okay because you want to make sure it's all nice and crispy and then you can use the um brush that came with the nail polish to go ahead and fill in the tip of the nail so i'm gonna let you all watch this and i'm gonna come back All right, so as you can tell, I had a little OCD, but it's okay. I would rather be OCD and make sure them lines is crispy than to have some uh, crooked lines, okay? 
So now we are going to go ahead and take our squeeze bottle. And of course, y'all already saw, I decided to do the pink um, Frenchie. And now I'm gonna take the squeeze bottle and pretty much just squeeze out this fine glitter. This was what I was hoping for would work. And it worked like a charm. And it, to me, it's a little bit better and it's not as messy as just having like the loose glitter and taking like the little shovel and then just dumping it on the nail. Like I feel like I have a little bit more control over the glitter. And uh, yeah, and it turned out just the way I envisioned it. I was a little skeptical, but I was like, I hope this is worth it. Cause I'm like, am I just doing this just to be doing it just cause I saw it? Yeah, I am, but uh, I know it's gotta work. So I'm super happy with my decision to put these um, glitters, these fine glitters in these squeeze bottles and I wouldn't have it any other way. And this is so gorgeous, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and pop this in the lamp now for 60 seconds. And then of course we are going to dust off that nail and see the finished look on how to sugar on your nail. So of course I used that tray and it was so easy to just go ahead and dump the excess back inside of the squeeze bottle. So I'm definitely happy and excited I did this, okay? So I'm gonna let you all watch this and then we'll come back with the final look of the nail we created. All right, so I went ahead and dusted off the nail and look at this, it is so gorgeous. Now you could choose to add some charms on this. You can leave it just like it is. You can probably do you don't even have to do a Frenchie to do some sugaring, okay? You can make lines, squiggly lines. I mean, you can do some nail art. Like, it's a lot to do with these. And I'm definitely excited that I put them in the squeeze jars or the squeeze bottles, like I was saying. So, yeah. So, hopefully, you all have enjoyed today's video. If you have, give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe and hit that post notification bell if you haven't already. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Um, I think I actually might come back and do another, well, and actually do a full set of nails doing this technique. Um, so yeah, so hopefully you all enjoyed and your girl will see you in her next video. As always, please be safe. Love on your people. Check on your people, okay? Give them a buzz. Call them up. Hey, just checking in on you. How you doing? It don't take too much to say hello. Out of your day. And uh, don't forget to check on those people that always smile a lot, okay? And uh, your girl will catch you in the next one. Bye, y'all.